Welcome to Confirmation News. I'm Joy Dorco. Tonight's lead story is based on our sixth commandment, which says, You shall not commit adultery. That's right, Joy. Adultery is a heavy topic and leads me to ask the question, If I'm not even married, why should I care about adultery? Great question, Jess. Perhaps I can shed some light on that. The Catechism says we should fear and love God, so we lead a sexually pure and decent life in what we say and do, and husband and wife love and honor each other. Exactly, Jim. Just because we're not married doesn't mean we shouldn't pay attention to this specific commandment. In fact, thinking about it now will help us live better lives each and every day. Good point, Tatum. We're going to take a different approach on that idea tonight. Let's take it over to Jess, where we have some special guests waiting to help us learn more about the dangers of adultery by showing us what not to do. Hello, everyone. I'm at the PLC Puppet Theater for the world premiere of Bad Ways to Avoid Adultery for the first theme that is entitled, Where You Will Not Look. Take it away! Action. Oh baby, this website is so incredible. Hey, did I hear a rawr rawr? What you looking at? What? Oh, nothing. I was just working um, on a school project. On the Babes Who Bowl website? Uh-huh. Are these play check magazines part of your project, too? Uh... Thanks for that, Jess. While we always don't think about what we look at, it makes a huge difference in our lives. That's right, Jen. Studies show that images can stay in your mind forever. It's true, Tatum. Things we look at enter our minds and our hearts. It can change the way we look at our world and other people. Back to you in the theater, Jess. Thanks, Joy. They're ready for their next scene. What you will not say. I'm all ears. So then, the monkey swings over and says, You think you got problems? You should see my banana. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was interesting. Yes, Tatum. And if you say something, it means you've thought about it first. Right, Joy. And if you thought about it first, it can change your actions. So the Bible says to control your tongue and it can control your whole life. Speaking of actions, let's get back to Jess in the theater. Thanks, Tatum. Let's take a look at the next scene, what you will not do. What a great party. You're a good dancer. Me? Yeah. Thanks, baby. You want to know what else I'm good at? Playing checkers? No, but I am good at baseball, if you know what I mean. Let's hit first base. Mm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Me either, Joy. Keeping the Sixth Commandment can bring all kinds of situations you do not expect. That's why you need to keep your boundaries clear. Something that may seem innocent at first can lead to something that you wish will have never happened. Well, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but back to you in the theater, Jess. I know what you mean, Joy. Well, here's our final scene. It's called Where You Will Not Go. And action. What a rockin' party, dude. I should have known when you asked me to come here tonight. Yeah, dude, I would never lead you astray. Or would I? <laughs> Hi, boys. Woo! So glad you could make it tonight. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. Woohoo! Oh. Have you ever met my friends? Come on, girls. Games. Who's up for spin the bottle? Yeah, wow. 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 Well, there you have it, folks. The Sixth Commandment is something we need to start focusing on now. Thanks for your report, Jess. They were very uh, informative. You're welcome, Tatum. I think we all learned a lot today. Yes, yes we did. And with that, we'd like to leave you with a final thought, an acronym to help you remember what we've talked about tonight. Love. L is for living pure. It's what God commands and wants in each of our lives. O is for on alert. Be aware of ways that you might be tempted into sin with your eyes, words, thoughts, actions, and places you'll go. V is for value yourself. Remember who you are and whose you are. God made you special, and he, he loves you more than you can imagine. E is for equip yourself. Strengthen your heart, soul, and mind with God's word so that you'll be ready for any situation. Chapter.
Woohoo! Strike!